Chapter 2 Diligence Verse 21 The one who develops virtue, concentration, and wisdom diligently reaches the deathless Nibbana. The negligent, one who is intoxicated by sense pleasures, repeatedly dies. The diligent Dhamma practitioner goes beyond death. The negligent are as if already dead. Verse 22 The diligent, wise Dhamma practitioner clearly understands the difference between diligence and negligence. Delighting in the dwelling of the noble ones, which is the 37 aids to enlightenment, they rejoice in diligence. Verse 23 Wise, energetic disciples of the Buddha meditate frequently. Working hard, they practice the Dhamma, giving it top priority. They experience the incomparable freedom from bondage, Nibbana. Verse 24 The wise person is energetic, mindful, pure in conduct, considerate in action self-restrained and righteous that diligent person's glory grows day by day verse 25 the wise disciple of the buddha practices the dhamma energetically diligently with self-restraint and with self-control he makes for himself the island called nibbana which no flood can overwhelm. Verse 26 Unwise, foolish people indulge in sense pleasures. They are caught up in negligence. But the wise protect diligence as their best treasure. Verse 27 Unwise, foolish people waste their life celebrating auspicious times. Do not give yourself to negligence. Do not become intoxicated with sense pleasures. Do not indulge in sense pleasures. If you meditate diligently, you can attain great happiness. Verse 28 The wise disciple of the Buddha drives away negligence with diligence, ascending from the palace of wisdom freed from sorrow. The sage looks at sorrowing people. It is like someone standing on a mountain, observing those on the ground below. Verse 29 The wise sage is diligent among the negligent. He is awake and meditates when others sleep. He advances like a swift horse, leaving the weak one behind. Verse 30 Sakka, the leader of gods, collected lots of merit diligently when he was in the human world as the youth Maga. That is how he became the greatest of the gods. Diligence is always praised by the Buddhas, and negligence is always despised. Verse 31 the monk who delights in diligence and fears negligence reaches Nibbana, destroying all bonds, large and small, like a fire burning everything in its path. Verse 32 The monk who delights in diligence and fears negligence is incapable of losing wholesome qualities. He is close to Nibbana.